Tor- Tory to do it, man. I ain't doing it, man. But then you, this guy, uh, the ice, the Fourteenth Street Ice yeah. Ferry, he thinks we're the worst thing. Like if we if if we can get rid of G, uh, GMS, um, then uh, everything the flowers start budding, jobs will come back to America, man. You know, George Washington pop out the grave and shit. You know, Lincoln to be back. You know, the uh, the what you call the national debt will disappear. This I go back to, it'll go, it'll go, the numbers, you look in the sky, and then you see the, 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 debt, the debt clock, and you see the numbers going backwards quick. Then all of a sudden it goes to zero, then it'll go minus zero. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden your, pot, your, your wallet will feel heavier. God damn, what this guy got more? Where did I get this money from? Yeah. You go to the bank, you might have 100 in the bank, yeah. and then you go and click, there's $5 million in the yeah. bank. You know? Because GMS is gone. Because GMS is gone. <laughs> you dumb nigga, you. You big, overgrown buffoon. <laughs> Nobody, fo- anybody that follows you, go ahead, please follow him, all right? And you and you really think that, hey, you got to get, I got to free these guys that are down with GMS because they're brainwashed. <laughs> I said, man, if them guys fo- want to follow you, I'll, I'll give them my Highest blessing, man. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'll anoint them with oil and say, "Good luck, my 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 man. Keep yeah. keep going." Yeah, I got a, uh, some man, information. Because you are a clown. Absolutely. You are a clown. All right. Fourteenth Street cream muffin. Uh, I got some information concerning the bees. Uh, just like the elder said, when the bees go, you go. All right. Uh, what effects will dying bees have on humans? Answer. Uh, now, by the way, this is from Answers.com. It says, bees perform two useful functions for humans. They produce honey, which we eat. And that reminds me of uh, when Yahweh Shai said, um, the land of milk and honey. See, now in our, our land, we're going to have plenty of bees. And we're going to put the spirit on the bees to sting you crackers, man. <laughs> we'll be talking to the bees. Hey, you see that cracker over there? The bees will be like, yeah. <laughs> so go over there and sting him to death. <laughs> we'll, we'll have that power you know uh, reading on it says they produce honey which we eat and they pollinate crops not all crops require bees since other methods of pollen, pollination exist and no doubt it's not natural it's not organic once again the devil the devil at play uh, reading on it says and certainly there are substitutes for honey <laughs> yeah uh, we would still have sugar cane all right, well, that's organic, but when you think of substitutes, you're thinking of, uh, what is that, the Splendor, which is nothing but chemicals, yeah, 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 all right? Saccharin, yeah. which is cancerous to, to, to the tenth power. Anyway, reading on, it says, we, we would still have sugar cane, but even so, so the loss of bees would have a considerable e- economic impact. Uh, answer, there are arguments on either side of this. The fact is that bees pollinate the majority of our flowering food crops. Uh, without them, we would experience famine. All right, so that's pretty much the point, you know. Uh, this is Revelation 11 and uh, 18. It said, and the nations were angry, and a wrath has come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. And that thou should have give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, the elect, and to the saints, the Israel, the one third of Israel, and them that fear. Uh oh, I didn't even know that was in there. I forgot that was in there. And them that fear thy name. Yeah. And them that fear thy name. Go to that and look up the word fear. Because hey, these guys say, Most high in Christ, bless. That's not it. That's a, you sending a curse unto a man. And you should leave my name as a curse unto, unto my chosen. You know? And, and, uh, um, let me read that again. And them that fear thy name, small and great. <laughs> I, don't know, I guess it's small nations and great nations. Rich nations and poor nations. Huh? Small and great is talking about who? It ain't talking about nations, brother. <laughs> it's talking about people. All right? Let me read that again. And them that fear thy name, small and great, and should have destroyed them, the white men, Esau, the Edomites, which destroyed the earth. All right? Hey. Yeah, and how are they destroying the earth? How are they destroying the earth? They're destroying it through companies like Monsanto, Betchel, 
and these different uh, 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 Kellogg's uh, co- uh, company, these different companies that's supposed to produce food. That's how they're destroying the earth. Plus, they don't keep the land Sabbath. All right? These devils don't believe in the land Sabbath. So that's, you know. That's why they need chemicals to maintain the uh, the, the, the soil, the man. The crops, yeah. Con, you know? Con. Hey, you, Ray, you, yeah. you devils, you Edomites, you, you about I ready you, to go, man. man. You're about ready to go. Yeah, yeah, stick a fork in you. Yeah, the word fe- uh, fear, the Greek word there is phobeo, which that's where you get the word phobia from. It says to put to flight by terrifying, to put to flight, to fear, be afraid. All right, so basically to be afraid. Fear thy name. He's not afraid of the Most High. That's why he says Most High in Christ bless. Oh, I got him. I got him right here. Uh, well, this is for Nate. Uh, like Elder Taha said, you're not afraid of the Most High and Son. That's why you're teaching that shit about we're going to be here 40 years. The 14th Street uh, uh, ice cream cone. Okay. This is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, the, with the rainbow sprinkles on them. This is for you, man. Emphasis on the word rainbow. Yeah, rainbow sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the big emphasis on that, right? But this is for you and Nate and all you other guys, right? This is uh, Amos 6 and 1. And then I'm going to jump down to the third verse. Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountains of Samaria, which are named chief. Oh, at ease is somebody that doesn't go out in the wintertime. That's oh, right. Nate, we haven't seen you out there, man. You in that hot, toasty uh, uh, classroom and shit. Yeah. Being master lord. You know, <laughs> Commander. Oh, hey, like the, hey, oh no, 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 no! What was that movie with Russell Crowe, Master and Commander? Uh, the, 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 remember when he was like the ship captain back in the seventeen oh, you know hundred? Hey, you know what, Nick? You're the just like that 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 uh, high pitched moron over there in England. You're the demon headmaster, man. <laughs> That's you know, you're the you're the demon headmaster. You're the new demon headmaster. Yep. <laughs> yeah, master and Commander, Captain Bly. <laughs> yeah, that's you, Captain Black. <laughs> yeah, right. But that's you. Warn to them that are ease. Meaning all you guys with your nice uh, cotton candy doctrines that you got. Teacher, look, everything's all right. You got to be in the system. You ain't nothing wrong to get married. Look, man, you got to have a career. You got to do all this. Them guys talking about the destruction. We don't know when the destruction going to come. You can't be pushing that. We don't know about that. Look, man, that thing with the chip. Them guys are. Them guys are uh, paranoid cons- conspiracy theorists, man. That's what you're doing. Now, the, uh, the third verse, ye that put far away the evil day and caused the seed of violence to come near. Yeah, the seed of violence, if I may, if I may jump on that. Yeah, the seed of violence is so-called white man because he's the man of violence, and he sits in the seat of violence. All right, he's the one starting all these wars, all right? Look at that, man. You have to call, and you are causing the seed of violence because you blinding them niggas, them zombies that are following you. You ain't teaching them the, the, the prophecies. You ain't telling them what's really going to happen. You ain't preparing them. On the wickedness of the white man. Or the, yeah, exactly. So when this devil start rolling on Jake, a lot of your followers going to get caught. They're going to get caught up in the seed of violence, man. If I may, bro. Yeah. Hey, when, when martial law comes, you niggas, you're going to learn that the white man is the seed of violence. Because you think he, when he comes with martial law, he ain't coming nice, man. He ain't coming to hand you Tootsie Rolls and lollipops. He's coming to hand you lead, man, in the form of a bullet, you know. That's that's how he's coming, man, when when martial law is declared. You watch. You, you'll you see. Let me finish this, right? That lie upon beds of ivory and scratch themselves upon their couches. <laughs> Look at you see that? And, oh, no, I know what you're thinking. Well, you know, Elder Tar is sitting on the couch with Elder Ramla. Yeah, but he's bringing out the prophecies. He's breaking them down. He's not at ease. <laughs> and sometimes Elder Tar be leaping off that couch, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, you niggas are sitting on couches. Yeah, but we ain't got the nice couches like the 14th Street Queer, man. That, that apartment here, man, that like a plush. Man, that, that leather couch, man, that in the background. And he be in the computer, and you see he got the pictures on the wall, yeah. them black Afrocentric looking pictures. Man, that apartment look plush, man. Them nice, comfortable apartments these guys be having. Again, and eat the lambs out of the flock, and the calves out of the midst of the stall. In other words, man, you guys, 
Y'all trying to put off the day of destruction. We looking for it to come, man. Like the scriptures say, hasten into the day. Look, man, we just brought out all this information, fake ass snow, and you know something about that fake snow. You know it's toxic. And, and then you know what, man? Like I said, if you go to them YouTube videos, they're within days of each other. Because I heard about it maybe two or three days ago. Because yeah. I was digging out snow uh, from my car, and there was this guy that was helping me, and he, 